Hello everyone, my name is Ming. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to retouch the Milky Way in Capture One. If you want to try out Capture One, you can go to Phase One's website to download Capture One. It gives you a 30-day free trial. And at any point, if you want to buy the software license to continue, you can use the voucher code AMBCAI on the checkout page to save 10%. I will put all the information in the description below, so feel free to check it out. Now, let's jump into the video. This is the merged panorama of the Milky Way. Now, let me quickly show you the before. This is the before, unedited uh, raw file straight off the camera, and this is edited in Capture One. Let me quickly reset all the changes. So let's start from scratch. First, I will go to this tab because by default, white balance is under this tab. Uh, firstly, I want to adjust the white balance because I think right now the color is a little bit boring. Uh, usually for the sky, I want to uh, make it a little bit blue. So I'm gonna change the white balance towards the uh, left hand side. I want to add a little bit more blue into the sky. And then I'm gonna experiment with the tint. Sometimes I would like to go uh, to add a little bit more green tint into the photo. Sometimes I would like to add a little bit more purple uh, magenta tint into the photo. I think for this one, I think I uh, prefer magenta tint. So I'm gonna leave uh, about 5.6 and the white balance is about 3000 uh, 3, K for the white balance. I think that works. And then uh, for me, I think this photo right now is too flat. Um, I want to make the black deeper, much deeper. So I can go to this tab because by default, I have a level tools here. Uh, first, you can click on this A. Uh, basically, it, all, it says auto adjust. Basically, it automatically calculates your black point and the white point. Uh, it's like the setting black point and the white point in Lightroom. But here, you just click A and it will auto adjust. Uh, for this photo, I would like to pull in black point a little bit more because I want to make, overall, I want to make the sky uh, much deeper. And I have the option to change the midtone. I want to make it a little bit more black as well. All right, maybe about that. Now, I want to make the Milky Way stand out. What I can do is I can uh, go to this layer section. Usually I would do is to add a new layer and a single click on it so we can rename this layer. Let's say it is Milky Way layer. Then I can go to clarity tool. Uh, usually I don't like the clarity tool in Lightroom, but I found the clarity tool in Capture One works pretty well. Uh, let me first draw the mask. You click on this draw mask or press B, which is the shortcut. And then choose the, choose the size of your brush and then just draw on your photo. Now, as you can see, I just have drawn a uh, mask around my uh, Milky Way. Uh, you can press M to always show the mask or you can just uh, press M again uh, to hide the mask. Now, I want to go to Clarity Tool and I want to add a lot of clarity into this photo to make the Milky Way stand out. All right, now I'm uh, at around 80. So you can see this is before clarity and this is after after clarity. Also, you can come here layers. You can uncheck this layer, see the effect before and then check this layer again to see your effect. So now I think the uh, Milky Way, especially this part of the Milky Way stands more. Uh, now I want to adjust the color because I think it's not uh, saturated enough. So I can go, I can come here, go to exposure and the saturation. So I'm going to move this slider to add a more, to add a more saturation into this uh, photo. And at any point, if you think your layer, your local adjustment is too strong, you can always come back here and change opacity. So if I change opacity to zero, so basically that just the hide the effect from this layer, right? So I can change maybe 50% if I think it's too strong, 
or uh, I can go 100%. If you think it's too strong, then lower opacity. It works just like Photoshop, layers in Photoshop. Now, I want to make the color of the Milky Way pops out a little bit more. So I can go to this color tab and uh, goes to color editor. I think it is a very powerful tool. Uh, let me show you. So first, go to layers and select the Milky Way layer because I don't want this change to affect the whole image. I want to only affect the Milky Way. So select this layer and then go to color editor and then go to advanced, use this color picker and I want to select a color from here. Now we just add a color point here and I want to make this color more saturated just a little bit. So you can uncheck to see the effect before and after, before and after. So the color of these parts changes before and after. I think it, I think it's a little bit too strong, so I'm going to lower the saturation a little bit. Now I can add another color point, for example, right here, if I want to select some uh, uh, purple color from the Milky Way. Maybe I will just select here. And then also I can make it more saturated. All right. And also at the same time, you can make this part of Milky Way uh, brighter by just changing the lightness. So if I go all the way, it's going to be super bright. That's what I, that's what we don't want to do. So just gently change the brightness just a little bit maybe about that all right now let's go back I think uh, this part is uh, maybe a little bit too saturated so for if you want to change the whole image just select the background I think I want to add a little bit saturation in the background layer so which affects the whole image and then take away a little bit of saturation from the Milky Way layer all right just a few clicks now we just made this photo from here, which is a flat, boring photo to here. And the Milky Way stands out. Uh, I really like this. So as you can see, Capture One is a very powerful tool. Just a few clicks uh, to change levels, layers, and the color editors. Uh, you, can, you can adjust the colors and uh, make your subject stand out pretty quickly. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I find it useful. If you like this video, please hit the like button below. If you are first time here, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more photography tips and tutorials, post-processing, Capture One tips and tutorials just like this one. All right, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day and I hope to see you next time. Bye.